So, what's up guys? Today is a video of rocket physics, and I actually prepared the sprites already, so it's simple rocket, and a simple flame flake sort of thing. This is an option, but I really recommend it because it gives some depth into it. And then, like, I shared this uh, rocket physics project in my profile, so go to my uh, channel, like, main page, and then you'll see the link to my profile, probably. That's what I remember, yes. And then now, uh, here's a fuel costume. And this, uh, I have it, so it is 45 by 300. It has to be 300, the 45 doesn't really matter. Uh, now, if you understand how this works, you can change it, but I prefer that you change it after you watch the video, so you know, like, yeah, stuff. And this is just, it just has to be a giant costume. That's all you gotta do. It has to be giant. That's like all. And then you can preferably center it. And then let's go coding. So for the variables, these are the variables. And then one of them is gone. So yeah, y velocity is also one of them. So yeah, all those four variables are it. Now we can get to coding because we have everything ready. So uh, let's start off with when green flag is clicked, set our uh, variables all to zero. So fuel, uh, rotational velocity, and x velocity, and y velocity. And I missed that, so x velocity. Now we can attach all of them. Let's actually set fuel to 100 though because we want our fuel to be 100. Now, obviously, it doesn't ha Okay, I missed one thing. It doesn't have to be 300. It could be... It, it has to be a value like 100 or 200 or 300, something like that. It has to be divisible by 100. That's all it's got to be. So, now what we're going to do is point in direction of 0. And that is why you have to draw your rocket sideways. You just have to remember that, okay? And... Uh, we have to go, we don't have to, but, you know, let's just set our position to zero, zero, and go to the front layer. We want our rocket in front of that flames thingy, yeah, and then we're going to repeat until, gotta repeat until, uh, fuel is less than one, like so. Uh, now what we're going to do is get an if statement, and then we can get if key space or key up arrow is pressed, or W if you want to do. I'm just going to do arrow keys for this episode, not WASD, which is what I usually do, but yeah. Arrow keys is good. And then now we're just going to duplicate that and duplicate that once again. We're just going to put the the arrow key pressed and then we're going to remove that and let's just change this to right arrow and then let's just change this to left arrow because we can and then we're going to have to create a block block we're going to name it burn fuel because we we want to use up fuel every time we do do things and then we actually need a uh, number input let's just type in amount this is optional because if you don't do it, I mean, if you do it, you probably can make a uh, rotation burn up a bit of fuel, which I did in my version because it makes sense. It's not like you don't use a single drop of fuel to rotate. Well, it sort of is because it's in space that uses sort of air to get their direction right. But anyways, and then you're going to give a tiny value, like barely any, like that. And then you can do the same for this. But for the just like flying one, you can put like 0.1, which is like 10 times more. So now for the burn fuel, it is like just one code. Change fuel by amount times negative one, like that. That's why you can write it in positive, not negative. Anyways, uh, for this now, what we're going to do is get a create clone of flames, like that. And then, reason why I'm going to put two of them is because it looks better like so. And then now, if you want to know what difference it makes between one just create clone and then two create clone, you can go watch my particle system video, which is really cool, by the way. 
And now we're going to create a new block and we can call it Accelerate Power. And then we can do uh, Power and then Direction and Direction. Or you can do angle. That angle is a lot shorter. Uh, like that. That's really cool. And we can put that right over there. We can input 0.1 higher. It'll be like just the rocket will go zoom and then you won't be able to control it because it's way too fast. Uh, I can show you what I mean a bit later. And now what I'm going to do is go to variables, get it to change. I'm going to change my rotational velocity by uh zero point like zero nine and negative zero point zero nine or zero point one if you want to be clean but i like just doing i don't know weird values like a tiny bit smaller or a tiny bit bigger stuff like that anyways we're going to set a rotational okay you know what let's just create a block and then we just do friction even though there is really no friction in space but you want to do this or your rocket will fly infinitely which makes sense if you're in space but you don't want to do that because you're in scratch and this like even though you have this it'll look like you still have the rocket physics because it looks like rocket physics we can uh, duplicate that two times and then we can what what we can do is go ahead and get a multiply sign and then a rotational velocity and we can do 0 0.99 we can duplicate that and put it into these one two like that and then we can change that to x velocity and y velocity and also change that that's important now at this point we got some of the code done but not all so now we have to create another block name it move and then you can select that wrong on screen refresh button because that's always good not always but most times now with that, what you're going to do is turn uh, rotational velocity degrees. That's what it is. Yes. And then we're going to change our X position and our Y position by X velocity and Y velocity. And then for a uh, slight gravity, because you don't always want to just fly away and then never stop, negative 0.0. 0, 1, 2, like a really tiny amount because you're still in space and then you want to feel like you're in space so yeah no no the final code is this we just have to do this and the rocket will be finished uh we're going to change our x velocity by a value and change our y velocity by a value but they're basically the same you just have to get times and this function thingy and then you can select sine for x velocity, which is right over here. And then you can duplicate these two codes, and then you can change just change this to cosine. And then get the power in the second slot and direction in this slot. Now, this uh, code is basically finished. Now you see it just basically flying, just like a rocket, but it, it looks boring. And then, now you, t you say... Why should that be? Okay, it's lagging. There you go. Uh, why should that be? Because there's no flames. And like the fuel isn't even going down. It's just staying there. So, oh my god, it's, it's lagging again. Let's just wait a bit. Wait a bit. There you go. Now what we're going to do is go to fuels. Let's just do the fuels first because it's a lot shorter. So when green flag is clicked, repeat until is the choice. Fuel is less than one. Now what we can do is switch costume to two. And then we can go to... Uh, X of 230, it's your choice, but uh, that's what I will use. And then th negative 340 uh, plus, I mean, it's supposed to be plus, not minus. Yeah, so plus, so negative 340 plus and another times fuel 
times 3 because it is 300. So 100 times 3 is 300, which is the length of this object. So yeah, that's how you should think about that. And now we can switch our costume back to our costume 1, which is our fuel. So yeah, there you go. Now we see our fuel decreasing like so and stuff like that. Our rocket is fine. I don't know why it's freezing there. Hmm, that's interesting. Now let me see what's happening. It's, um, it's lagging again. Let's see. Um, it looks like everything's fine. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's because of the flames. It's creating way too much clone and it's not deleting itself. That's why, okay, when green flag is clicked, we can hide the main thing. And then when I start as a clone, it's point in direction, uh, which is right over here. Point in direction, direction of the rocket. So we have to select rocket first so we can see direction. Or it's going to be automatically selected as the backdrop, which doesn't have a direction function. And now what we can do is turn clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't really matter. Pick a random, a negative 7, that's around good, and 7. It really depends on your rocket size. If your rocket's small, the value should go smaller. If your rocket's big, it can go bigger. It'll look right if you do that. Like, it won't look wrong, like, that shouldn't happen or anything like that. Now let's uh, uh, go to rocket, and then we can move... For my huge rocket, it should be negative 20. That looks just right. And it literally, like, depends on how big and, like, your rocket is. Because, like, approximately here is where they will go, because that's the center of the sprite. If you go negative 20 steps, which is approximately here. Like, that's approximately where the flames should be spawning. And then, like, actually creating the effect. So now let's go to Lux, get a show block. And then we can set our size to the size that might look good. In my case, I'm going to do a 150 since this flame is a bit small for this rocket. And we're going to clear our graphic effects and then set our brightness effect uh, to uh, 20, actually. And then, uh, uh, actually, uh, this sprite is 13, 56, and 100. If you want to... If you want the exact same flame, that is probably what you should you should do. Uh, repeat uh, 50 times. We're going to change, like right there, change our ghost effect by two, and then move negative one steps. Obviously, you can do more or less, but I find this is good enough. Now we're going to change our size. Uh, which is right over here. Change our size by pick random 5 to 12, something like that. It looks good to me. So we're now going to change our brightness effect, actually. We're going to change our brightness effect by pick random 0 to negative 3. Looks good to me. Now, uh, what we're going to do is delete this clone, and that is what you want to do. So now you get this cool flame that's coming out of your rocket. And then now there's one thing missing, just one more thing, and that, I think, is the backdrop. So yeah, uh, make your own cool looking backdrop, and that's Basically, it. this is uh, rocket physics, and it looks pretty good to me. Because, yeah, I think this is pretty accurate. Not the most accurate, but for the fuel, you can actually create, like, an outline that will make it so it looks a bit better. But, but yeah, I think that's fine on itself. And then, like, it'll just stop there, which is a bit weird. So, if you want, you can add a code, uh, is which is just forever move. Now that should be a lot, lot smoother and makes more sense. Now I'm just gonna try to exhaust all my fuels like so. 
if that is possible in time. And then now, why it's just staying there is because the velocity is still very high and it's not like, yeah. Anyways, now my rocket is falling, so I can just start exhausting my fuel again like that. Yeah, uh, I really enjoy playing around with this because the particles look really nice. And then I like the physics too. Like, yeah, so basically now let's go up to the top to if you want to see this. It's probably a lot better if we do that. Let's just exhaust the fuel. Now I can't use my fuel again. Now it should be falling, unlike just stopping right there before we add the forever move code. So yeah, if you remember what the move code does is just runs this. It's like turning and then like changing our velocity and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I think that should be it for this video. I'm probably going to release another video about this physics engine. I'm just going to try to make a game with this physics engine. So. If you don't know where to use it, probably that game might be good, because, you know, that game... I mean, I think that game is pretty nice. And it's simple, not that hard. Like, this is probably the hardest, hardest part of the game. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe and like button. If you didn't, you can still hit that subscribe and like button, because it helps me out a lot. So, 